All right, we'll start start at the bow of the boat. Uh, if you look right here, um, that's a, a yet to be determined. I may put a fishing rod holder on it. I don't know. I didn't like the Scotty system because they're so expensive. But if you look at this, you got a little. Uh, really, this is really good for nothing other than a, maybe a cigarette ash uh, or. I don't know keys or whatever, but it's really in all reality it's useless unless you put a sandwich or something in there. I don't know. Um, this is the life jacket. You have to have a life jacket and a whistle, I think, by North Carolina state law, and that's all. Uh, up front, you got a cup holder, which is big enough to put a 40 ounce in <laughs> if you know if you want to. But right here is where I was thinking about mounting that rod holder uh, so I could have a, uh, I don't know, even run two fishing rods. Uh, plus, I like to fish off. But what I was doing with my little pack here is uh, I just had this set here, and I'd have the rod sitting in it. I've got some GoPro footage of me fishing. Uh, you may have seen some already. I don't know where I'm at in the video. If you hadn't, stay tuned, and I'll show you that. Uh, this does have a paddle keeper on it a lot of people say it don't but it does if they just maybe they just didn't know what that was for but you just take that off and then you can just put it on like that it's not the best paddle keeper in the world but it does have one i've seen quite a few videos where people said it didn't uh it's got I don't know if you can see that, but it's got sliding where you can adjust to put your feet at. Uh, which, I, you know, I'm a pretty small dude and I'm comfortable in it. Uh, it's an adjustable seat. It's not the most comfortable seat in the world. And there's another cup holder here uh, that you can put something in uh, in the back. And that is my GoPro mount. What I did was took a monopod for any of you that's handy, it's really easy to make. All I did was put a quarter inch screw, put a nut here and then put a nut here and then your, your, like, your tripod mounts are like quarter inch. So it'll screw right on there and that didn't cost me anything because I had that at home. In the back here, you've got, you got two fishing rod holes i only been using one, uh, still kind of new to it. So, you know, I may try a couple more eventually. Paddling's hard work though, I tell you, this thing, I've been in motorboats, but paddling's tough. This bulkhead right here on the stern of the boat is, there's a lot of storage in there. Uh, I don't know where that come from. Hope there ain't nothing leaking. Uh, right here you've got an, a drain plug on the back uh, overall it's a pretty good little boat uh, this holds up to 300 pounds I don't know if I said that uh, you can tote 300 pounds worth of people or gear I guess it's got these carry handles on both sides uh, there is a dry, a dry uh, blah, a drain plug uh, to drain the boat if you get it full of water. The boat has a little bit of a rudder. I don't like the screws in the side. I don't know. It ain't leaking that I know of. Uh, I think that water was from... I don't know where that water come from. Probably from me getting in and out of the boat because I see some up here. Guys, and why I'm doing this video, try to buy a better life vest than that because <laughs> that thing sucks. It's really, really hot. Uh, I unbuckled it today, but they make some really small ones that are good. I mean, you know, I recommend you wearing it, but I was in some deep water, so that's why I had it. You don't have to wear it though. Um, most rules are it's got to it's gotta be on the boat. You ain't got to wear it. I suggest wearing it because uh, you get tired, you're going to drown. 
Uh, that's kind of my review of the boat. Uh, like I said, if I hadn't if I hadn't dropped any footage in of me in the water, I will. Or if you hadn't seen any up to this point, uh, pretty good little boat. It's uh, you can get in the water for I don't know 219 for the boat. I bought it at Dunham's on sale. Paid 24 dollars for that paddle. So what's that? Two. 49, 51, 52, 253 dollars you can get on the water in the state of North Carolina. A uh, little small fishing rod, a little four pound. Uh, it's a micro Zubco spin cast. That's a micro spin cast, which you don't need a big fishing rod for this boat. Uh, and that works perfect for what I need. Uh, see if there's anything else I missed. Uh, the boat is really, really wide. I don't know the exact specs of it, but uh, I don't think you could foot the boat over unless you stood up in it. You might, it probably, more than likely, it'd throw you out before it would turn over. You know, it's a, it's a good starter kayak, I'd say. It's not very fast, but it's really super stable. Great to fish out of. I've had a good experience with it. I enjoy it. Um, plan on hitting some creeks and rivers and uh, doing some more fishing and doing some there's a creek system here and it's about I don't know probably it takes two hours from when you put in to when you get out I don't two to three hours I don't know how far it is but I'll try to video some of that when I do it I appreciate y'all watching the video I'm out of breath because I've been paddling. I just got home and been paddling. I paddled for paddle and fished for about three hours, and it's like super muggy out here. Uh, anyway, and I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day, and uh, later.